Welcome back guys. Today is day 128. My name is Christian with today's daily Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading Acts 15, 1 through 12. And certain men came down from Judea and taught the brethren, Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Therefore, when Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and dispute with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain others of them should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. So being sent on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, describing the conversation of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy to all the brethren. And when they had come to Jerusalem, they were received by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they reported all the things that God had done with them. But some of the sect of the Pharisees who believed rose up, saying, It is necessary to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. Now the apostles and elders came together to consider this matter. And when there had been much dispute, Peter rose up and said to them, Men and brethren, you know that a good while ago God chose among us that by mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. So God, who knows the heart, acknowledged them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us, and made no distinction between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why do you test God by putting a yoke on the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved in the same manner as they. Then all the multitude kept silent and listened to Barnabas and Paul, declaring how many miracles and wonders God had worked through them among the Gentiles. Let's go ahead and pray. Father, I thank you for your word. Do you help us interpret this word? and understanding what this means for us as Gentiles. Clearly it shows that we don't have to keep the law of Moses in order to be saved, to receive your Holy Spirit and the miracles to happen among us. That we don't need to be circumcised in order to enter heaven or be one of your children, God. You have given us your Holy Spirit and through faith, by grace, we are saved. Lord, I pray for our your wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, and to continue to lead us in our lives and build our character, God. Let your mercy and grace grow among us, Lord. You are my King, and I ask you to lead me, Lord. Lord, I just ask that you give, you help me through today's trials and battles that you have set before me, and whatever you have come my way is for, to build me up. To work out my spirit to become stronger and become the person i'm supposed to be lord i thank you lord in jesus name i pray amen for day 129 go ahead and click on the link on the screen and i'll see you guys in the next one